Good evening, good evening, and this is Bridget with Morning Soul Shine, and I'm so excited to be with you on tonight. You know, tonight we have a very, very special guest, and his name is Keith Shorter, and so I'm just really, really excited about him being on with us. He is a certified mental health and life coach. He's a certified mental health and life coach. And guys, he's an instructor, he's an entrepreneur, and he is a content creator. And if you've ever been on TikTok, please follow him. He has so many, many videos and so many likes and so many followers. And guys, he's really, really good at what he does. So please, please, please follow him on TikTok. His name is Keith Shorter. And I think on TikTok, it's K-Short. And so, yeah, so he's going to be with us on tonight. And, you know, guys, we have been... Um, we have been remembering those lost to domestic violence as well as celebrating with those who have survived domestic violence. We are also bringing awareness to domestic violence. So guys, this month of October has been a time of reflection, a time of just looking forward to the future of us ending domestic violence. And so on tonight, while we wait on Keith to come in, um, I'm going to read some of the uh, top 10 things everyone can do to stop domestic violence. One of the things you can do is listen to a person who tells you that they're in an abusive relationship. Believe them. Believe them and give them refer referral information. And so, guys, we also can call the police if you see or hear domestic violence in your community. So please don't say, stay silent. Also, contact the coalition of your local program to get more information on how you can help. And so you can also contact the National Domestic Violence um, Hotline. And that number is 1-800-799-7233. I'm going to see if I can send him an invite. Uh, let's see. I'm still here with you guys. I'm just trying to make sure we get Mr. Shorter on. So I just sent him an invite, so maybe he'll get it that way. Um, the fourth thing we can do is talk to your legislator about supporting legislation that may help battered women and children. And how you do that, guys, is just reach out to your representative um, senators and congressmen and just, you know, inform them that this is what you would like to see um, laws passed to help um, victims of domestic violence. You can also schedule a training at your office or your church or civic or, uh, association to learn more about domestic violence and child victimization. So guys, you can contact your local um, shelters and your shelters can, uh, you know, have someone go out to your organization or your church and actually um, educate people on domestic violence. Number six, you can volunteer your time to a domestic violence program. And so um, you can also call your, um, your domestic violence um, program here in Baton Rouge. Um, I think it's Iris domestic violence center but you can also call the national dv hotline and they can get you there is keith there we go they can also get you get you in touch with your um your city or your state um yeah they'll get you in touch with someone and they can give you information on hi i'm great how are you doing my friend how you doing, doing good. I was just um, I was I'm waiting good, on good. you, <laughs> and then I I I told everybody all about <laughs> you. Yeah, I was yeah I was telling them that you are a certified well, you, into health coach. Oh, good. And I don't know what's going on with me tonight. I'm just getting all my words mixed up. Mm -hmm. uh, that you are a certified mental health 
and life coach. Oh, You're also an instructor, an entrepreneur, and a content creator. So I also mm -hmm. invited them to join you on TikTok. I say you have a lot of followers, a lot of followers. And so you have a lot of great things that you're talking about. And uh, last night I was part of your live with Dr. Tony and they have a really good time guys you have to check them out right. yeah it's right. different and and last night uh Keith it's was just right? bearing his soul <laughs> I yeah I love that I love that because you were being so transparent yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> thank you. So I want to first of all want to thank you. Thank you for uh accepting my invitation. <laughs> you know, when I was on TikTok and I was watching your videos and I seen how many followers you had, I didn't know how to ask you. You know, okay, can <laughs> so I was like, okay, let's see how I'm going to not... ask him would he be on my podcast because I was like he's going to probably say I don't want to be on your podcast. <laughs> Thank you. No, no, no. You, no, no, you actually. Well, I really appreciate nice. you being here tonight. I'll, I'll, and have you see. had an opportunity to, sh to share on your end? Okay. Because we definitely want your, to see your right followers now. to see you in action I tonight. They should have a little like a little person with an error i don't know okay okay good thank you yeah, so like, much thank you thank you share now. and so um before you came on i was sharing with the audience oh, no um about domestic violence awareness month this month and we want to just be so uh watchful and prayerful you know that we continue to fight toward ending domestic violence yeah, that's what we want to do. And so on tonight, we're going to actually talk about something a little different. We're going to talk about building healthy relationships. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, um, sometimes Ooh. people uh, are not aware of what a healthy relationship look like. So. Definitely, definitely. Because Oh, learn, exactly. Well, from exactly. So a lot of dysfunctional um, relationships are based on the fact that people really don't know anything about what a good relationship look like. So that's why we have with us Mr. Shorter tonight, because <laughs> because he's going to help us, you know, put the pieces together try to get some understanding. So you would like to talk to us about yourself, Mr. Shorter? <laughs> um, not really, but I'll do a quick intro. Like I said, I'm from Georgia. I'm retired military. Um, like I said, I'm an instructor at a small technical college here. I teach business classes. Um, I also have my own catering business. So I'm okay. pretty busy. Um, like I said, I got into life coaching during COVID. You know, I was sitting around and didn't really know what I wanted to do. So I got my life coach certificate. Wow. And recently I just I just finished my uh, mental health coaching certificate. So that is amazing. I, That's amazing. You know, and you know, um, in the game. as I've been kind of researching you and just thinking about all the different things that you do, um, I thought about your instructing. You know, you have students that you instruct in them. So I'm sure you see a lot of interaction on a daily basis. So do you ever have an opportunity yes, yes, to help guide your students a little bit in life? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know, that's what I'm all about, to be honest with you. Even yeah. though I teach business classes, you know, business, everything, life is business. So, you know, I teach. You know, and, you know, that's one of my philosophies, like everything is business. So if you can't control your business, you control your life. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so a lot of time it's really just getting them, you know, to control their mindset. Like you said, feel mm -hmm. they can achieve or they have a thought past the narrative. Mm -hmm. you know, like, like a lot of people work and don't know what they want to make. A lot of people work what they make a year. 
So it's just open up those small little, small little nuances. That's good. And, and you said that's that just starts college the thought courses? process to keep going and going. Oh. So. oh, that's good. That's really good. So you are on that yes, level uh, where you can actually be a very great influence um, for them because they're, yeah, they're young adults. And so they're probably good, uh, dating and getting ready to get married mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah, so that's a great opportunity to, you know, just be a life, uh, a life experienced person with them. Yeah, so, and so you also say that you have a catering service. So I love good food. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Uh, we're pretty good. I think well, our I, service I is I've seen some of your food, food, food online, awesome. and I was like, man. I wish he was here in Louisiana. So how did you learn how to make those shrimp and grits? You learned <laughs> that in Atlanta? You know what? Really? Nah, um, a friend of mine, actually, because I don't eat it, actually. Um, yeah, a okay. friend of mine went to chef school after I retired from the military because, you know what I'm saying, I was a cook in the Army for 20 years. Yeah. And um, they was making it. I said, yo, what you putting in that shrimp and grits? Because, you know, down south, everybody like it. Cilantro, I saw peppers, uh -huh. saw all kinds of stuff, right? Bacon. Like, what are you doing? You know, we just got together and we started playing with things and we came up with something that are you, you know, giving I think a, you don't give me the recipe? It's different than most people, so pretty <laughs> <laughs> I would probably rather <laughs> you cook it for me. <laughs> but, okay, cool, 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 cool. So tonight I, we're I'll gonna actually I'll be talking about how to build um, some healthy relationships. So you and I got together, we came with a list of items that we feel that is important as a very good starting point because we know that life is, it, it just happens. Sometimes we don't expect different things to happen, but the things that we can control, I think it's important. What do you think about that? Yeah. Well, definitely. And and everything starts with self. Mm -hmm. Everything starts with self and, you know, creating that proper mm -hmm. mindset. I want it. You know, you got to want it first, though. You know, you got to want to mm -hmm. be in a positive situation, want to be in a positive relationship. But that's, that that's right. So of, the first thing we okay, want to talk next? about I want is this. emotional How do I get intelligence. It? So, yeah. So as I've gotten older, Emotional yeah. intelligence um, is very important to me because when, as you get older, there's a lot of things that you just won't put up with, you know, and because you know who you are, but we want to talk to right. people who are not as self-aware as others. So when you don't know who you are, your emotions rule you. So, Mr. Keith, can you talk about, can you think back when you were younger and you allowed your emotions to rule you over your, you know, over what you knew you should have behaved or your behavior should have been? I didn't even, I didn't even prepare you for that. Yeah, um, whew, that's a good question, first of all. Yeah, that's good, though. I, but, you know, something just dawned on me, like, you know, when I was in the military, I was, I was young, I was bold and i want to be seen you know i had to be the guy in the club i had to be the guy to be seen i was going to work late fighting you know doing all these things and i didn't even know mm -hmm. why because i didn't come up like that like i didn't drink any liquor during high school but soon i joined boom boom boom, boom. Mm -hmm. i guess trying to fit in or just trying to be above everybody else it was pure emotion mm -hmm. and then like on those on those mondays and tuesdays yeah. you know i got five miles and I like I'm tired because I just yeah so and then like um someone slowed me down someone told me man you're killing yourself he said yeah you can do it but look at the cost look at the cost it's taking you to do all that plus get up and do your job mm -hmm. you know effectively and uh when he was telling me I didn't get it honestly you know it took some mm -hmm. to realize like get in control man like you really mm -hmm. not in control and I think we control in our lives and we really not mm -hmm dictating what we drink, how we look, right. what we wear. We're responding 
to everything. And um, so it's just like, when you hit that maturity level though, it's, there comes a point, like you said earlier, you have to just like stop. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the whole key. Mm -hmm. Just stop it. And it's hard to do. Say, but yeah. it's hard to look at yourself and say, I remember that video maybe that it's you me. did. You know, we question oh. other people's oh, like what? mental state yeah. <laughs> or their emotional state. And it's it could be us sometimes. Definitely. And, and, and uh, you know, you, you have to be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's funny how we want honesty, but we're not honest with ourselves. You know, you know just kind recently, of, kind of you know, because so, none of us are perfect. And in our minds, <laughs> we think we are. <laughs> but I rem uh, just recently, I had a, a girlfriend just kind of told me about myself. And I was like, and I was like, well, I didn't mean it that way, you know. <laughs> And she was like, well, that's the way I, I took it, you know? And then as she played the whole scenario out, I was like, oh my God, did I really do that? And it made me take a real hard did look I really at that, yeah. who Bridget is. Yeah. Because we need those people in our life though. We need the ones that mm -hmm. say, hey, you know, you know, be careful, or because yeah. we don't need those people all the time that rolling with you when you're wrong. You know, so yeah, and 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 you have to, they, you have to mm -hmm. have someone in your you're area right. that has your values. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And even if you're exactly at that peak yet, but still, though, that you are in that growth, stop you. Mm -hmm. Those people that really got your back. A lot of the time, it's not family or the friends we think you. You're right. Maybe that person that's actually <laughs> because care about you, my family, they just love me, <laughs> and they know. <laughs> Even though they just like you know, you just do oh, it too much. They gonna put up with me, but other people not gonna do that. They gonna be like, yeah. check yourself, girl. Because they. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying who she's talking to, mm -hmm. and, and and I get it all the time because I'm 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 strong will, so mm -hmm. when I get hype, it may seem like I'm bossy, but no, I just yeah happen, and and I have to realize everybody don't listen the same way, everybody don't the same way, so like like a lot of times, man, you know, <laughs> I, you know I've been misunderstood, <laughs> but I have to realize like I was the common denominator though, mm -hmm. the one that argued. You know, with all my bosses, I'm the one that you know what I mean. So it's like, yo, man, crazy, crazy. <laughs> and and honestly, a friend of mine told me, but can you be the one? Like every You're boss like, you yeah, get can't be crazy. crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> and if, so you know what? You're going in and out. Me. Do you have some? I'm not quite sure why. So, yeah, so we have with us tonight Keith Shorter. Yeah, we have Keith Shorter with us tonight, and he is here to help us understand ourselves so we can build healthier relationships. So thank you so much, Mr. Shorter, for being with us. Can you hear us? Okay, good, good. So we were talking no about problem, emotional no intelligence. Yeah, yeah, and so guys, emotional intelligence is really self-awareness. Yeah. Just knowing who you are. And then it's not just about you. So once you know who you are, then you also need to understand others. So Mr. Sharda, can you talk to us about that? Yes. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. but though, really, you said the answer. The first mm -hmm. thing is to critique yourself. Like, why, why am I always in these situations? You know, why am I always arguing with people? Or, or even if it's good, like, yo, I'm doing this really good. So this may be the right thing for me. And once we mm -hmm. do the self-awareness, the self-check, you yeah. begin to see things differently. And then you start listening more, too. That's the biggest thing, too. You start seeing it, and then you can visualize mm -hmm. it. Okay, mm -hmm. you know what? Every time I get around this person, she brings my energy down. So you know, yes. so, you know let me, you know, yes. I would still be friends with it, but just at a certain point, you know what I mean? And like, even like the people mm -hmm. at work, 
every time I go over here with these people at work, they always talk mm -hmm. negative. So about you know not to go to lunch with I need them. my job. So I don't want I don't want to be around that negative energy. And exactly. So it's just being mindful. And you know, like you say, it's about first checking yourself and really just being intelligent about it. Like I know when mm -hmm. I go over here, this is gonna happen and, and accept it. Yeah. So if you do, you know what you're walking into. Don't expect me not to be me. That yeah, I've been showing you <laughs> the same person every day. Don't wish one day I'm not going to be myself. Wait till that, you know what I'm saying? Wait till that happens. You know, wait till that happens. And then you can. Yeah, and you know, a lot of times then, we want to change just, the just other person. That's that. And that's, I think that's the biggest issue. Because it's like, for instance, that's if you and issue. I are friends and that's I good. send you a text like I did, but because of my emotional intelligence and me being a business mm -hmm. person, just because you didn't respond, that didn't mean that you didn't care about what was going on. I know you have other things in your life, but that goes along with emotional exactly. intelligence. Now, a person who mm -hmm. is not emotionally intelligent, intelligent. they yeah. may go yes. off and say, mm -hmm. why are you not answering my text? I done sent you five texts. Yeah. You know, you must not want to be bothered. You, you this and that, you this and that. And it's right. like, you don't know what that person is going through. Going through. Exactly. Especially when you, mm -hmm. you know, and even when you know people and they just come through one day and they act mm -hmm. different or they're not responding right. Don't get mad at the response. Yeah. Wonder why, yo, you know what? Keith normally smiling, but he's not smiling today. So maybe he's going through something. So maybe I should just back up. Yes. But a lot of times we, you know, we get mad and then and then and then we trade energy. <laughs> you can't, you know, you can't. Trade yeah, don't be looking for a normal. fight all the time. You know, so and and, and mm -hmm. all the time. And I'm telling you, once you realize that, though, because I was that person, mm -hmm. I was ready. You know, I was on ten at all time. I was ready to battle with anybody. <laughs> And then when I realized, it was like, it was just mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're, yeah, you're not, yeah, be you're not being pleasant. Like and we're not so, pleasant like every earlier, day, all day. So we should no. give others, you know, grace. Grace. Mm -hmm. That's the word. That's that word. And we have yes. to, and that's where the understanding comes in at. That's where the, that's where the intelligence comes in at. You know what? Today, you know what? Maybe he or she having a bad day, so I'm just gonna look past yeah. what he just did. You know what I mean? Especially if it didn't cause you any, you know, you know, any harm. <laughs> and um, now they, now two or three days later, they keep doing the same thing. And you know, hold on now. You know, we got a problem. But though, like you say, though, it's just it's just about stopping and and exactly, and exactly. Being in the just know, just things. because you're not you know, busy, you that go. don't mean everybody okay. else. I'm busy. <laughs> So, yeah, emotional intelligence is very, very right. important right. to build a, a good relationship. Know that, you know, when people yeah. get home from work, sometimes people, some people don't like to talk. They just like to chill for a minute. But you have to get to know right. that about a person. You know, don't throw right. everything at them when they walk in the door. Definitely. They, exactly. Exactly. Right, especially if they're not used to dealing with pressure. You know, pressure, pressure, mm -hmm. pressure is tough when you're not when you already feel from life yeah. and working in. They can't do someone it. from the outside yeah. bringing more. And so you have to know the just, temperament you know, of the, the person that you're dealing with. Yeah. So if you want to get into a relationship, I think it's so important that first you acknowledge mm -hmm. who you are. Be sure you know who you are, and then the person that you're you're going to spend time with or even marry, you need to understand their temperament. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because many people don't understand it's not the good times Amen. that keep you together. It's the battle of the bad times. You know, and like, uh, like you know, you know <laughs> are we going to fight this yeah. together or, or are we going to fight like Tyson? You know, you don't want to, you know what I mean? Like, but a couple mm -hmm. that's willing to let you know. Let the other person breathe. Mm -hmm. Try to understand. Go back and revisit the that's issue right. later at a later date. That's that person that's trying to work with you. But that person, but that person is. I want to answer now. We're gonna talk about this now. <laughs> Bob, especially if you have told them. Yeah. Not right now. 
And you know, I remember when I was you know, younger, I just had to have my way. I just had to have my say. <laughs> Yeah, when mm -hmm. I was younger. I can like, tell. I can tell. I can week. tell. When you were younger, huh? <laughs> yeah, but you, you know, right. it, it doesn't Today. get you anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it just caused you a lot of stress. And so, no. yeah. No, it don't. It don't. And then, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, and then you invoke yeah. people to lie to you because they just want to get rid of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Let me tell them what they want right. to hear, whether it's the truth or not. Just to get her You're out right. of my face, you know, and then that causes so, problems. Guys, down we the just road. Yes, we just, just trying to problems. be open and no honest problem. with you. You know, in order to in order to build that healthy relationship, you have Ooh. to have some emotional intelligence. Know when to back off. <laughs> know when to back off. Yeah, and absolutely. then come back and revisit it. And um, I think that'll go a long way. So that takes us to communication. Mm-hmm. Oof. It's tough. Um, most of us don't understand communication. You know, only maybe, I don't know the percentage of the most, but it changes. Yeah. Like maybe what, 65% of communication is now verbal. You know what I mean? So we think because we're talking and making sound that people are listening. You know, and you know, mm -hmm. communication takes that sender receiver. That receiver has to receive the proper message. No, we don't. In order I've to, just in order gotten better at properly. it since I've been doing the podcast. <laughs> because usually I'm yeah, I'm too. thinking about okay. what I want to say yeah, yeah. Tick, tick when somebody talk is lot. talking. But I know when you're interviewing somebody, you have to listen because you have to repeat what they say. <laughs> listen, and that's. The, yeah, and that's the biggest issue I see when I watch these lives and you know everybody going at it. A person can talk, and and you just said it. Once you get that point in your head, you stop yeah. listening because now you formulating your response to what they said ten minutes ago, and they went past that point, and everybody else has too. Now and now you bringing it right back because <laughs> you stopped listening at that point. And um, I was bad at that. I because you know, I was that person. I was that person, and you know when, and like when we first started studying doing our lives, I couldn't stay on track because, like you said, I was stuck. <laughs> you like, didn't as listen As soon as I heard anymore. something that struck me, I just stopped. <laughs> so that's why I, <laughs> I got my point. I got my. And, 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 you, know, and point, you all late too, and so wrong. I know I'm gonna say this. They then moved on to yeah, another so, subject. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and. Oh gosh, wrong. Wrong. we're really telling on ourselves tonight. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, yeah, communication. Open so open we also world. know when we're communicating, we should acknowledge what the person is saying before you give your perspective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And then a good way is to paraphrase. So what I'm hearing you saying is so, so what? So what I'm think you're saying is okay, and you know, just paraphrase what they said so they can understand that you understood, and then, and mm -hmm. then that, and then also, it give them time to think, you know, to calm down too, you know. A lot of time, <laughs> a lot of time we be doing because you know what people that argue don't know what they're arguing about eighty percent of the time. Mm -mm. They just want to get their you know, point across. Just, like nobody's listening, <laughs> nobody's listening, and, and they just going in. <laughs> Don't care if you hear me or not. So we're going to acknowledge the person, ah, acknowledge that they're speaking. Crazy. We're going to be respectful mm -hmm. before we give our perspective. Right. That's difficult. That's yes. tough. Ooh, but it's tough. It's, yeah, and you have to practice it. <laughs> and you know the best people to practice with is your kids. Yes. Small kids. Because... Because they say what they want to say and then they leave. Like they don't, they don't care about responses. So like, make them stand right there and talk to them, you know. And but yeah, like you, you start with yeah. your friends and your family, you know, because you can't just these things are practice. You know, yeah. people, people first gain understanding that I must change this, and then they practice with their friends mm -hmm. and family, and then you attest yourself when you get in that needed, you know, situation, maybe at work or in a relationship. Right. But you have to, and just like what we're life. doing right now. You know, We're I'm communicating. Just, I'm yeah. acknowledging what you're saying, and then I'll give mm -hmm. my perspective on it. Mm -hmm. So it's it's like that in yes. everyday life, but it's not. <laughs> right. 
Yeah. You, I know. <laughs> nah, because we let the emotions get in. As long as we don't let the emotions get in and overtake mm-hmm. us, because, you know, we, you know, we will get emotional. Or we will get excited. Yeah. But as long as we keep it to and you don't a, you know, always a have degree to have that your you can way, control like me. That's, that's the case. I, I that's just, the case. I, <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to argue. I'm going <laughs> to argue till we just tired arguing. Because I want to know, I, you got to believe what I'm saying mm-hmm. is true. Me too. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm I'm getting better at that. I'm getting better at that because I say some things and I can't contradict myself. So if I say yeah. everybody got a right to their own opinion, <laughs> I have to accept it. I don't I don't have to believe it. I can still try to convince them. Yeah, that's their, that's their that's their viewpoint. Because they're coming from their own. <laughs> the next viewpoint. thing with communication, listen to understand. <laughs> Do I really want to understand? Um, you have to. <laughs> that's tough. <'cause, laughs> right. I have to care. You see, like you said it. I have to care about what you're saying mm-hmm. to listen to you. Um, and credibility is a big thing on that. You know, we must build credibility. You know, we must save face with ourselves. And, yeah. And I think about with stuff, though. You know, people will listen to you if you look like you know what you're talking about. You know, whether you're wrong or right. It sounds I heard like the night. I said, dude, that's totally wrong, but okay, let's roll with it. But no, <laughs> it's, it's right. You know how I do, right? It sounds good. But no, no um, you know, it, it's just understanding, try to understand the person that's coming at you their position and what they're saying if you can you mm-hmm. know and that also helped you in your response because sometimes yeah. you can just listen and sometimes you know what i'm gonna kill this conversation because it's not going anywhere you know why argue with this person because mm-hmm. this person is clearly not listening so yeah I, it's not worth it yeah. like okay okay you win <laughs> you know so sometimes sometimes you can lose all right Sometimes you can lose the argument. And it's really not losing. You're just moving on from it because, you know, what I'm saying, um, never argue with a fool because people from afar can't tell who's who, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So you can't put, we have to stop putting ourselves in those situations mm-hmm. that that's not that's not advantageous for us. Mm-hmm. You know, but like you said, we so, we yeah. so in the need to prove a point. Yeah, we got to prove that we're, and, we're and right. And it's a mute point, though. That's the, that's the crazy part about it. That was... <laughs> that was me. That was me. That you now? <laughs> Five minutes ago. <laughs> I good, know good. Well, good though. Okay, so don't it's make tough, the conversation though. all about you. So when we're talking about talking to people, don't make it all about yourself. Yes. <laughs> Look, people really? like to tell you about them too. <laughs> Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, I actually have a friend like that, and it's like, I said, Yeah, man, blah blah blah. And he'll just take over, yeah, yeah, man, because I did this, 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 this. Then I, and it, you know, I let him go through. Then it was time for me to tell my part because I, because I didn't, finish yeah, you didn't beginning. get to say yo, yeah, he's on, he's on to the next subject. Hold up, bro, wait a minute, you know what I'm saying? You know, let me finish. And here's the deal it's okay to stop people. It's okay to say, hey, excuse me, I didn't finish my statement. Yeah. Because that that yeah. forces you... them to look at themselves. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I mean, you know, if you care about that person, because if not, they will continue. You're right. They really, and nobody stops They don't them. know that they really do it wrong because they do it so often that it's, it's normal. Nobody stops them. So I do it quick, especially when Mm-hmm. You ask them on a question, and they tell you what they want you to okay. know by answering the question. Can you give us an example of that? that? Answer the question. Answer the question that I asked you first. Um. Good morning. How you doing today? It's a blessed day. That's not what I asked you. Yes, it's a blessed day. We both blessed. We both talking to each other. But how are you doing today? What are you drinking? Because they're not Oh, listening. I went by Starbucks. No. What are you drinking? You see what I'm saying? Like, people at all. At all. And we get away with it because people take it and run with it. And then you come mm-hmm. back to them last week. Well, I didn't say that to you. You know? Perfect mm-hmm. example. I had a young lady said, 
uh, she was talking to her her friend, and she asked him, she asked him if he loved her. He told her, "You're the best woman I ever had." <laughs> she was the best. So yeah, she walked away me. thinking, "What? He loved me, right? He loves me." So they got into it about two weeks later, and she said, "But though you told me you love me, and now you don't." He said, "I never told you that." He said, "You love you." He said, "Yeah, she did. You told her the best she woman that you ever had." Yes, but I didn't say I love you though. She wasn't listening, and she didn't. She didn't require a response. A That's true right. answer to her question. Yeah. She took the Don't answer that he wanted to so give. Often in and then she went and ran with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. All the time. All the time. I stop people now, though. It's so funny. No, mm -hmm. I didn't ask you that, though. I'm, tell me what, and this is my favorite phase now. Tell me what you want me to hear, and then answer my question. So, but so that I'm takes patience. Out, but I still need an answer to that question, actually. It takes patience to stop. And just look at a person Practice. and ask them, Practice. you know, and I think we get so busy that we don't take time. Mm -hmm. But I started doing, I started doing it sarcastically, though. And then when I realized mm -hmm. that it was effective, because, you know, I was, I would say that rudely. Well, you know, tell me what you want to hear, because I still get asked to my question. But and yeah. I'm really joking when I started doing it. But, but I realized it paused people. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and then say, well, yeah. Honestly, half of the time they say, ask me again. See, that would probably because they wasn't listening to the first stop question. me. Yeah. Because <laughs> no, if you would ask me like that, I would be like, what are you talking? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Because because we yeah we listen to respond. Not you know I mean right. we listen to respond. You know you know we don't we don't care what we're saying half of the time. Because, like you say, we Instead live in that fast-paced world. Thank you, you know, for asking. Fast -paced, fast -paced I'm having world. a great day today. How's your day going? Yeah. And usually we like, oh, That's hey, dialogue. I'm good. That's dialogue. Yeah. And here's the deal. You got my Nothing. Attention. I'm good. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Nothing. But, but though you're pouting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you're slamming mm -hmm. down your books. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Oh, come on. Yes, it is. Come on. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, but yeah. we have to do it with ourselves first. That's, you know, everything starts with self. Everything starts with self. But it's and you have opportunity every day because you have your, your, you know, students. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. I'm teaching now for about nine years. And, mm. and it was tough at first because I didn't know how to listen to them. You know, I was in that authoritarian, mm -hmm. you know, mode. I tell you, do this. This is how it is. Believe what I say. Here we go. Then when they start questioning me back, yeah. You know, now I have to think about my answer too because they're going to go research it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the give and take started, you know, with me. And it's like, wow. Like, yeah. Okay, y'all watch that student right there because I can't say nothing crazy because he going, he going, you know, saying he going to check me on it. And mm -hmm. just over everything happens over years. People want fast return on their money. Most time it takes a patience, you know, mm -hmm. patience and just seeing and understanding. Because I didn't at first. I was wow. like, what I say go, that's the way it is. And they was fighting me every step of the way. Then an another instructor told me, <laughs> it's you. So I'm telling you, I was that, I was the person that we talk about. You know what I mean? I was that loud mouth. I was the one that had to be mm -hmm. right. First to say something without listening. You know, just throwing stuff out there. Because yeah. I had a little gift of gab a little bit, I thought that I could just say anything and it didn't matter. <laughs> but as you get older, people actually listen to you sometimes. Yes. And they listen to the speech, though. They don't listen to... you. To, if you go on uh, Clubhouse, you, you better be ready some in some of these rooms because people are very smart. You just can't get away with saying really? stuff. You have to have some, you know, some yes. docs. You got to have some receipts. And they want you. <laughs> they yeah. want you to quote where yeah. you got it from. Some facts. Some facts. Yeah, you stuff. can't just. And so it's a good way to yes, learn about yes. yourself, the, the, and just know that you can. You know, you can't get away with a lot of stuff mm -hmm. anymore. People are very intelligent, and the internet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then that cell phone got it. Ooh, that right there in their hand. Because I heard a guy say something the other day. He said. TikTok was the most toxic app. 
like, how? Really? So, you know me, I Google it. They ain't even in the top five. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not even in the top five. I think it's like six, number six. And, um, and I'm like, but, but he's proving a point mm -hmm. to get people to stop listening to other people and, and, and listen to him. You know what I mean? But some people don't do their research, though. Mm -hmm. so, and you will get that few. But a lot of, like I said, a lot of people now are exactly. intelligent. They Incredible. Gonna, they're going to. They want That's you to right. just be so credible. we learning, guys. That's we right. learning tonight about emotional intelligence. Yeah. You helping me, Mr. Sharda. <laughs> so we talked about emotional no, intelligence. No, no, thank you, though. We also talked about communication. Let me make sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, communication is also not just words, but is body language also. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Gestures, body language, um, the way you walk. No walk is a language. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I used to have a thing like I used yeah. to enter a room strong. You know, step mm -hmm. hard because I was taught that though. You know, look a man. In, you know, look a man in the eye when you talk to him. You know, and yeah. All of those, like I say, sixty-five percent of communication is nonverbal. So, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. many of us miss all the cues from people. You know what I mean? Because we mm -hmm. try to listen to their words, but you know, look how they yeah. you know, look how they standing right there. You know, look how looking, look how they dress. And and I know we oh, don't yeah. want to talk about it. Definitely. But people judge you by how you look. Mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm a big guy. You know what I'm yeah. I, you know, I'm a big guy, so I can't come out looking sloppy. You know what I mean? So and then I want people to think I'm credible. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> same way, um, you know, even when I cater, when I wear my chef jacket, they call me chef. Oh, wow. When, I, when I'm just helping people out, they call me Keith. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, even, even um, we, we did this in, in a, on one of our classes. I had a guy come in and wear a jacket. I said, go to McDonald's for me and tell me what they said to you. When he walked okay. in with the blazer on, they said, welcome to McDonald's, sir. How may I help you? Mm -hmm. He went back a couple of days later when he just regular, you know, Mike Vick jersey on. The same Welcome guy. To Welcome to McDonald's. So, it's so we need to watch all of that. <laughs> we have to watch all of that. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, and so ladies, run into the store with your bonnet yeah. on. Yeah. You might Definitely. be, Definitely. you know, your husband might be in the store. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to attract what you attract. <laughs> bonnet you know, lovers. You're going to attract bonnet lovers. They got bonnet lovers. Bonnet yeah. lovers. You know, it's a bonnet. <laughs> you know, I don't mind them sometimes. <laughs> yeah. It's one for, every so, for everybody. Opening up lines of it's communication. So, guys, we've been talking about how to communicate. So, this has been a great conversation. This has been a really conversation. Yeah, and so we talked about emotion and intelligence. So yeah, let's go to therapy. So therapy I mean, is good. still kind of for certain communities, I'm gonna put it that way. Therapy is a no no because when we talk about therapy, people do not want to identify with having emotional or mental illness. So there's a stigma still in some right. communities about getting therapy. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, a lot of them, what people don't talk about too is mm -hmm. they don't feel like they can afford it. They don't have the insurance to have that conversation. So, so it makes yeah. me, it make a person feel worse when you tell them they need help and they don't know how to get the help. Mm -hmm. See, like we, we give answers You're and right. solutions. You know, the solution is the process. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, but the, and we still have a lot of stigmas about therapy. But what I will say, what I've noticed mm -hmm. that oh, everything yeah. under oh, yeah. generation, like <laughs> everybody open, got one. They <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, you know, it's this, it's, right, you know, right, you know, you know, it's this Gen X, you know, you know, I'm 53, so, you know, it's that. 45 to 55. Like and what you think like, about 57? We I'm 57, to, so you know we don't want to, yeah. Problems. They don't want to, you know, 
No. And you know, really? I didn't go to um, oh, no, you don't want to hear a psychiatrist you don't hear until I needed until it got so bad I couldn't handle it. My anxiety was through the roof. And whenever I was having panic attacks and couldn't drive to work, yeah. that's when I said I have to go see somebody. Wow. Yeah, it was bad. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna blame my mom. Okay. Because you know you know I I I have PTSD from being in the military, right? Okay. And and you know I've been diagnosed with anxiety with mild depression. You know you know I take my meds. If I don't take, if you ever see me alive, <laughs> I'm just going off. Text me to keep take your meds. You know. What well, I mean? you sound because, like me. Because I'm hyper. I'm very hyper. And um. My family <laughs> think it's bad. <laughs> Is that good or bad? Man, uh -huh. too. I'm telling you, my mom told me that. You know, we kind of had a little tiff. Not me and my mom, but me, me and somebody in my family. Mm -hmm. and she said, "Hey, Keith, you don't you don't normally act like that. Like you need to go see somebody because like you because like you're not the same." You know, went to the VA. Said, "Hey, look," I said. I said, "My mom said I, I need to see somebody." And um, but you know, I saw three. I saw three therapists. The first two really didn't help me. So I tell people, I tell this all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you were the therapist that's not helping you, exactly. don't be afraid to find one that will, or one that understands you. You know what I mean? And then the third one, man, she really? was crazy. She had me. That was I a was really good therapist. And I, and, and look, I didn't know why I was crying. That was good. I'm yeah, glad you found someone like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, really. and you know, guys, it's nothing really wrong with asking mm -hmm. for help. Yeah, me too. And you know, don't let it get so bad where you're you gotta take medicine and sometimes you need medicine sometimes those chemical imbalances are off yeah. and yeah. i was at that point you know and i still take medicine now for my yes. anxiety and um yeah and it's like it's nothing wrong with it mm -hmm. if, if it's going to give you some peace and give your family some peace yeah because some sometimes we're not aware of how we we yeah. act right yeah because mm -hmm. that's the key right there because we so we we have normalized the the bad behavior mm -hmm. and like i say and i knew i was hyper but i didn't think anything was wrong with it you know and then when when people mm -hmm. started telling me like even my kids was like that mm -hmm. go take your meds that because like i because i would yell at them like what <laughs> And like I'm serious, like and they was like that. Go take your meds. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. So, and and but see, acceptance was hard because mm -hmm. you know, I never believed. I never believed in you know none of that stuff. Mm -hmm. like, you know, I don't need no medicine. But when she broke it down, that it's a chemical imbalance. Just to balance you, you out. Have to satisfy with the chemical, just to balance you out. You know, and then and then you work on fixing yourself. Exactly. But, but you have to get in the right exactly. state of mind to get to the next point. Mm-hmm. Now I mean, I'll like I'll go to my to psychiatrist me, was, and she's like so that. how are you doing and I'm like yeah. I'm still a little but she said you want to go up on the medicine and I'm like no <laughs> <laughs> no I'll stay right oh. here <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm maxed. No cuz I maxed I, I want to be I'm able maxed. to feel <laughs> yeah. I don't want to yeah. be out there where I'm just numb so I told, I said, you know, I just need to learn how to handle situations. So when I'm in a car and if my anxiety is high, mm -hmm. I know if I'm in the center and need to turn, that's very scary for me. I get ang my anxiety get really high. So what I have to do is I okay. have to drive on the outside wow. and go okay. all the way down, even if I have to come back up. To go to turn, but I've learned to, to okay. do that. Right, but see, but you fixed it. Yes, and that's the key is <laughs> yeah. Find those coping mechanisms that you know, like you say, you might have to go a little further up the road. Oh, but, what? But that stuff but is not fun. Able to do it without having that attack. So yeah, I mean, you know what else helps me? If I start feeling yeah, anxious in the imagine. house, I'll go brush my teeth. Yeah, I'll brush mm -hmm. my teeth, and what I guess what it does, it calms really? me. It takes me out of that, and put my mind on brushing mm -hmm. my teeth. Wow! Really? Right. You know, I sit in my car. Yeah, I put it in my driveway, and and if I'm feeling mm -hmm. like that, like I don't want to take it in my house. Okay. You know, around people, I was sitting in my 
I'll sit in my driveway 20, 30 mm-hmm. minutes sometimes. Just, 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 just mm-hmm. listen to music, nothing else. Mm-hmm. And, um, oh, when I turn the game on my phone. Yeah. Because, exactly. Because I, you know, I zone out and I'm not, I'm not me at that moment. You feel me? And then, you know, once I. Yeah. Once so you I, see, guys. You know, you know, coming on down. We can I'm talk working, about our you know, stuff. Pretty good. You know, so feel, yeah. you know, feel free to find someone you can talk to. Yeah, and, easy. you know, it's, please it's, seek it's, therapy. You know, our coach, you know, Mm -hmm. so we're going to talk about Mr. Shorters. He's a coach. And so talk about us about talk to us about your coaching business. Yeah. Yeah. Coaching is is a little uh, misunderstood. You know, we're not therapists. We're not trying to Mm -hmm. diagnose you and, you know, (laughs) solve problems from your childhood. Go get a professional. Okay. Mm -hmm. Coaches, though, just take you where you're stuck at. Like, you know, imagine being stopped Mm -hmm. and you just, hey, you know what? You know, I got this going on, but I just can't get over this hump, you know. So coaches put motivation and give you tasks to complete, give you steps on how to get over that next hump. So it's it's really like it sounds. You Mm -hmm. really get to coaching. You just want, you know, um, mentoring, talking to them. Uh, making sure that they You're are right. actually moving it, because a lot of times we stay still because we choose to, mm-hmm. and we don't have that courage. You know, you know, we just need that extra, you know, pushing your back. Like, yo, you know, you got it, and that's, that's right. what it's all about. And uh, it's just about um, moving forward. It's, yeah, it's just taking you from A on on to where you're trying to go, and you set your parameters though. And see, that's, that's good. Part that's about good. It. So, and the coach gives um, you tools to if help you can, get along. Before you leave, give us okay. some ways yeah. we can contact you. If anybody want to reach out to you for coaching services, and that, okay. that would be great. That would be great. And so, yeah, so okay, wonderful, we wonderful. have really had a very, very yeah. great discussion That'd tonight. Cool. And so we're going to, you know, I'm really excited to meet Mr. Shorter. Keith yeah. is here with us. Yeah. <laughs> Don't call him Mr. Shorter. But uh, yeah, last so last night on TikTok, you know, he, uh, he and Dr. Tony, they're they're really good together. Mm-hmm. They sound like they've been together for a while. Um, yeah, that's my partner. Really? Oh, but only wow. Five well, y'all sound like y'all been yes. together we, for a we long actually time. Met on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. So they have a know, great, right? great relationship. <laughs> right. And so Keith right. is very open and honest and transparent mm-hmm. about his life. And so what we want to do, he and I want to collaborate and do do the same thing on Facebook. And so, guys, be on the lookout for Bridget and Keith. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're going to come up with some kind of title for it. And uh, we're going to have com- these kind of conversations. We'll, you know, Let's keep going to tell us about his love life. <laughs> mm-hmm. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I don't have one. I don't have one. Oh, you see, ladies, he's nah, open. Anytime, anytime. You know, I'm open. I'm open though. You know, and but you know what's funny? But here's the funny part about it. Yeah. I thought it's fun to be open. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because now you don't have, you don't have to remember all the lies you told. You feel me? Like I don't think nobody is 100 percent honest, yeah. but to be open and enough to say, hey, I'm not yeah. ready for a relationship. But hey, we can, but hey, you know, we can go on a date. You know what I mean? Yeah, see, and, that's and, the yeah, and that's people will definitely thing. go for it. Now, some people, they, they can change their mind. <laughs> well, you never that. know, Keith. We might find somebody <laughs> who can change your mind. Yeah, it's good. So, Keith and I are going to collaborate and we're going to have more of these conversations. Just building healthy relationships and mm-hmm. yeah, all of that fun stuff. So you have any more you want to talk to us about, Keith? Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. Just you know, just just like how we started. It started with self, you know. And do not lie to yourself and expect yeah. someone else to tell you the truth. That's I think that was the biggest thing for me. Mm-hmm. Like I would, you know, I would meet people and lie to myself wow. about the person. Yeah. Then get mad when she lied to me. You understand what I'm saying? Like, no, see it, just see it for what it is. And if you want to roll with it, make a logical decision. You know mm-hmm. what? Mm-hmm. I see these flags, but I'm still going to go with it because this is what I just want to do. You know what I yes, mean? Yes, we can. Because we get hurt through expectations. 
you know, that's where the pain comes from. The pain really don't come from yeah. the lie. It's the thought that I didn't think that person and we lied. Were, and we want to change you know the people person lied, so much. you know that person is a liar. You understand what I mean? So it's like, oh, I, I know if I get, get him uh, or her, crazy, I know I can change them. You, you can't crazy. change a person. Mm -hmm. And you know the worst thing about people that say that if I can just mm -hmm. get Bridget, I'll be the happiest guy in the world. Exactly. He exactly. never say to himself, but would Bridget be happy with me? See, we see we all mm -hmm. naturally assume that people like us, like because exactly. I know what Bridget wants, but I have never talked, but I never talked to her. I never asked her what she wanted. And 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 wow. that's where it comes in that we 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 try to pick people that don't <laughs> wow. choose us. That's the biggest issue. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that is a big issue. Yeah, so yeah. I'm looking forward to That's it. That we're gonna have this continue continuing mm -hmm. conversation. So yes. tell us how we can get in contact with you. Let's do it. Um, right here on Facebook at Keith Shorter, or you can go to okay. TikTok and Keith Shorter One. Um, those are my two main right now. Okay. Um, and you know, Messenger. <laughs> I'll I'll get to it. <laughs> I, I promise you, I will. I but I know respond he's right back. You know, Bridget, know that. I, you know, I don't respond right back. But uh, you know, those two, yeah. But like those two are my main topic. And next year, I'm oh good. Next year, my last good, year, good, good. Catering, so I'm going. But thank you, Keith Shorter. And, you know, it's going to be fun for being on Morning Soul fun, Shine yeah. with Bridget. Yeah, thank you so much for being thank with you. me. And so Appreciate tomorrow night, you. guys, we have invitation. another Morning Soul Shine at seven p.m. Right. with M. Shari Bree. And she's going to talk to us about um, surviving domestic violence. And so, guys, I'll see you again on tomorrow night. God bless you all.